I'm in Excel and I am looking at the ratings of two people, Raider 1 and Raider 2, of 12 answers. And so Raider 1 has independently, so not with Raider 2, rated all these answers on a scoring scheme and given it rankings from 1 to 10. Raider 2 has done the same thing. And what we want to do is determine the rate or the percentage of agreement of these two. It's called inter-rater reliability or inter-rater agreement. Inter meaning between two raters. So let's take a look at the scores. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a zero here if the two scores don't match exactly. And I'm going to put a one if they do. So let's look, we have eight and seven here. That doesn't match, so I'm just gonna put zero. 9 and 8, they don't match, so 0. 10 and 10, those are exactly the same, so I'm going to put a 1. And I'm going to go down here, I see 7 and 7, 8 and 8, 9 and 9, whoops, 10 and 9, no match, 9 and 9, so we're doing well, a 0 here and a 1. Alright, so we have all the matches and no matches. And a quick way to calculate, especially when I use zeros and ones, is to take a sum of this, add them all up. And if I add them all up, it'll give me the number of ones. So I'm going to use an Excel formula, equals sum bracket. And I'm going to, quick way is just highlight these and just press enter. That says that there are eight, that totals eight. The zeros don't count, so it gives me a total of eight. That means there's eight matches. Now I want to do a percent. So what's a percent of? Well, we know it's 12, but what if it was, well, what if we didn't know? What if they weren't, if I didn't label these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, it would be hard to figure that out. I don't want to take chances. So I'm just going to use another formula, count formula, and say equals count bracket, well, bracket, and I'm just going to count all these. Whether it's 0, 1, doesn't matter as long as there's something in there. And it's 12. All right, so it's 8 out of 12 is our degree of agreement. Well, we turn that into a percentage. That's what you do. So you would say equals, and I'm just going to put 8. I'm going to click on that, divided by 12. I've just clicked the formulas there. 66%. Now, I'll show you and just bring this down here. There's a percentage sign in Excel, so I'm just going to click on that. I'm going to go back. 67%. So we would say the inter-rater reliability in this particular example is 67%. And that's not very high, so what we'd want to do is go back and the two raters would take a look at the ones that they differ on, 10 and 9, and they would talk about it and say, why did you give it a 10 or why did you give it a 9? All right? And that's how you work it out. And they could do another round as long as they developed a set of criteria and then they would do another round of rating and usually would rate the ones that they didn't agree on and see if now that they have a shared understanding of that criteria, if there is better inter-rater reliability. And that's how you calculate it in Excel.